Hey, this is Ryan here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to display the information that we created in our blaze table and show it on the application. If you haven't watched how to interact with and manage blaze tables yet, I encourage you to go to the previous video and start watching that. But in this, we are going to show you how to add tables to your application. So in this instance, we're going to add a container here right below this nav bar that I've added. And then we're going to add the table into that container. Here you can control the size and width uh, and length of the container. So you can change it here. You can also change different aesthetic options. Um, so like adding search bars amongst other things that I'll get to in a bit. But right now, this is only showing dummy data. So this data isn't actually pulling from anywhere. This is just data that uh, Blaze gives you. So if we look here at the different tables we've created during the last video, we created this company's table. So let's name this table companies. And then in order to pull in information from that company's table, we have to scroll down and the data source is dynamic. So we can go in and we can choose this company's table to pull the information from. So once we click that, it automatically pulls in all of the information that we added into the company's table that we created in the last video. From here, there's a ton of different options. So let me get into some. The first being the columns are completely customizable. So you can decide what you want to show and what you don't want to show to the users. So if we don't want to show the company name, it's as simple as one click. If you don't want to show any of these things, it's one click away. And the reason that you would do this is because if you want to have information in your backend for you know, your team, but this is a public facing or customer facing you know, table, you may not want to show them all of the information that you have. So that's really easy to do here. You can also offer, we also offer filtering. So you can add filters with the different columns um, and different options here. We also have the ability to create actions like viewing details, editing rows, and deleting rows. So if you want to give people that are interacting with this the ability to edit, add, delete, uh, it's as simple as clicking this button here. So if we click add new row, I'm going to get into this specifically in the next video, but you can add new company and it gives you this button right here with the ability to add new companies. And I'm going to show you this pop up here briefly, but I'm going to get into managing pop ups and editing pop ups in a fo following video. So for now, I'm going to keep showing you uh, other options. So uh, search and filters, you can add more filters, but more importantly, you can show a search bar. So anybody that's trying to interact with this data, you can enable them to search for any of these companies that you've put in here in a, in a really meaningful way. And there's a number of other options specifically around search, but we can get into that in later videos as well. So back to the table, you can toggle all of this information, but more importantly, it's quickly and simply put just as easy as creating a Google sheet and just saying where the information is coming from. Um, this is great for customer facing applications, internal tools, um, and, and much more. So this is the foundation of building applications and using blaze tables. In the next video, I'm going to talk more about doing the actions and what those actions actually can potentially do. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video and uh, see you soon.